What's up you guys, it's Julia here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be hopping on a very old trend. I'm going to be answering your guys' assumptions about me. I am late to the party, but that's okay. This trend was really big before I was on YouTube, so I didn't really get to take part in it, but I thought it looked fun, so I decided to do it. I was also just too lazy to think of an original idea because I'm lazy. So as some of you may know, I have been having problems with my mic. So I'm currently not filming with it right now. I don't know how the audio is gonna sound, but I really hope it doesn't affect it too much. I'm just using the camera's built-in mic. I don't know what's going on with my mic, but I'm definitely going to look into getting a better one. And yeah, I'll stop rambling on now. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. So I posted on Instagram and I asked you guys to tell me your assumptions about me. It's been a few hours, so I think it should be good to see all of your responses. Honestly, I saw a few of them and All right, so someone says, to be honest, you seem like an introvert. That one's pretty true. I grew up really shy, and honestly, I don't really go out that much. I feel like my life on Instagram looks really cool, but honestly, I spend most of my time in my house just like editing pictures, responding to emails, creating videos like I am right now. I don't really get out that much because I'm a loser. I think I have more internet friends than I do like in real life friends. Because I'm just bad at talking to people. Someone says, your back hurts a lot maybe? Honestly, I get a lot of comments of people like asking me if my back hurts. It doesn't. Someone says that you are the most beautiful girl in the world and that's all. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Someone says, unhappy. Seems that you need to accomplish all your goals. Honestly, I would say I'm a pretty happy person right now. I do have a lot of goals for the future, but I've definitely been accomplishing a lot of them recently, which is really exciting. So I wouldn't say I'm unhappy right now. Even though I do look unhappy in my pictures, I always get you guys commenting and telling me to smile more. I'm actually happy, okay? <laughs> I swear. Someone says you have low self-esteem and get really offended when people comment on your body. Honestly, I wouldn't really say that I have a low self-esteem. I mean, obviously when someone says something bad about your body, it's not gonna make you feel good or anything, but I feel like I have a high enough self-esteem that I don't really let it affect me that much because I'm just like confident in myself when I like, I have a good image of myself. So like when someone says something different, I'm just like, cool. Someone says, you're rich. Honestly, I'm not rich. I don't come from a rich family or anything. Growing up, my mom was a single mom and we lived in like apartments and co-ops my whole life. She just recently got like a really good job and she finally bought a house, so I'm super proud of her, but I don't live with my mom. I live with my boyfriend, so we live in a super small bachelor apartment and I don't like it, but it's cheap and it's fine for now, I guess. But no, I'm not super rich or anything like that. Um, up until recently, I was working a part-time job at Winners, and that's how I was making a living. But I finally started making enough money off of social media that I was able to quit my part-time job. It's still not a whole lot, I'm just starting out. I mean, it's more than I was making at Winners, which is pretty insane, honestly. But it's nothing, like, crazy. Like, I can't, like, go buy a house right now or anything like that. Like, I'm still, like... I have to be careful with my money so I can like afford groceries and rent and insurance and stuff like that. So maybe one day I will be rich, but currently, no. Someone says that you'll end up marrying me. No. Someone says you're an easygoing person and you also like pizza a lot. I actually had pizza for dinner, so that one's true. And I am pretty easygoing. I don't like to cause trouble or conflict or anything. That you are friendly because you're from Canada. I mean, it is stereotypical that like Canadians are really friendly. I think personally, I'm a pretty friendly Canadian. I try my best to be as nice as possible, but I have met a few unfriendly Canadians before. I don't think everyone here is super nice, but I like to think that I'm one of the nice ones, so. <laughs> Someone says, I just want to say it's stupid when people follow you then insult you for posting your body. Honestly, I agree. Someone says, you seem like the type of person to judge someone hard. I'm definitely not a very judgmental person at all. I think that everyone is unique and special in their own way and I would never discriminate someone or make fun of someone for being different or doing something that I wouldn't necessarily do. I think that a lot of people get really judgmental when they're jealous. Like, I don't like to compare. Like, I think it's just like an unhealthy habit. Comparing people is just really unfair because 
like I said, we're different, so it just like, it just doesn't really work. And it's just pointless, it's just gonna bring negativity. And I don't really agree with that, so... I'm definitely not the type of person to judge someone hard for any reason. Unless they're a complete asshole. <laughs> someone says, you seem extremely kind and courteous. Honestly, yeah, I try to be as nice as possible to people. I don't want to hurt or offend anyone in any way. I try my hardest to watch what I say on the internet because I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. Even when people comment rude things on my pictures and I feel the need to like prove them wrong, I just don't want to hurt people or cause unnecessary drama. I think there's so much negativity in the world already and I just want people to be happy, so. Someone says, saggy baps. Someone says, I think you are mean. Someone says, my guess is that you're probably conceited, narcissistic, selfish, and materialistic. Personally, I wouldn't say I'm any of those things. I mean, like, I definitely would say I'm pretty proud of the progress I've made and how far I've come, but I'm not, like, overly conceited or selfish in any way. I don't think I'm better than anyone else, and I think there's more to life than materialistic items. I try my best to give back to people in any way that I can and help people out. Especially in the industry that I'm in, I feel like there are so many people who are trying to be social media influencers and YouTubers and stuff like that, and a lot of people get competitive with it and they try to sabotage other people or bring them down because they don't want other people succeeding, but me personally, I just hope everyone gets to where they want to be. I just want everyone to succeed and be happy. So, I wouldn't say I'm any of those things. Someone says, you grew up kind of introverted and shy, but you're feeling more confident about yourself now. I would say that's true. I grew up homeschooled for most of my life, so it was mainly just like me and my sister, and I didn't really have to like be in a group setting. I did have lots of friends as a kid. I lived in a co-op, so there were a bunch of kids in the same co-op, but I was a very shy kid. I think that once I went to high school, it helped me come out of my shell a little bit, and I guess since then I've just like grown and I'm able to express myself more. I still am pretty shy, but overall, it's better than it was before. <laughs> Someone says, I don't assume anything to be honest. Not our place to. Honestly, I respect that. Thank you. Someone says, you are socially and environmentally conscious because you're vegan. That is very true. I am vegan mainly for the planet and the animals. Aside from being vegan, I also try my best to reduce my waste. So I never use plastic bags when I go shopping. I always have reusable bags in my car, so I don't have any unnecessary plastic bags lying around because I just think it's so wasteful. I also have those awesome reusable metal straws. And then I also shop in bulk a lot. So I have like reusable containers and I bring them to the bulk barn. So I fill up all my pastas, my rice, quinoa, stuff like that. So that really helps me reduce my plastic waste. Obviously, I'm not perfect yet, but I'm trying my best. I think every little bit counts. And I really hope that you guys are conscious on your impact on the environment as well. Someone says that you were popular in school. I guess I was pretty popular. Like I said before, I'm pretty shy, so I didn't have many friends. I had like my sister and then my best friend, Michaela. And we just kind of stuck around all of high school. But aside from that, I guess a lot of people knew who I was. A lot of people told me that they thought I was a bitch in high school. But then they would meet me and they'd be like, I thought you were mean, but like, you're actually really nice. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Someone says, you like lazy days in bed. Yes, absolutely. I spend a lot of time in my bed. <laughs> I'm very lazy and I like my bed. It's comfy and it's safe and warm there. <laughs> but at the same time, if I spend too long in my house, I get like sad. So I like going out <laughs> occasionally. <laughs> Someone says, one day we'll see you in porn. I definitely can say that you won't. See, what I'm doing now with modeling makes me happy. Like, modeling is my passion. I love being in front of the camera. It's just, like, really fun for me. And I have a lot of fun doing it, but the thought of, like, doing sex work just doesn't give me that same feeling. I don't have the drive or the passion for it. I don't think badly of the people who do it, but me personally, it's just not what I see for myself. I think I'm doing really good with modeling, and I'm pretty happy with how my career is turning out. Someone says that you think replying to comments and gaining followers is hard work. Honestly, I don't think it's hard work. I gained followers pretty easily. My account kind of blew up really fast. So I really think it's just about getting lucky, honestly, and having the right people see your stuff, and you know, I got pretty lucky, someone made me into a meme, so that really blew up my account a lot. I think that if you upload consistently, post good content that people will enjoy, 
and just have fun with it, then you'll be successful with it. Just don't give up. I think the hardest thing about gaining followers was just like staying motivated. That was probably the hardest thing. And as for replying to comments, I just reply to comments because you guys are really sweet. I love just like interacting with my fans and just saying thank you to you guys for being so sweet. I don't think it's hard work. I love my job. I have a lot of fun managing my Instagram account, like replying to comments, editing pictures, and getting ready to post them. It's been a fun experience. It hasn't been hard at all. It's been pretty rewarding and pretty awesome. Someone says that you're a very calm girl. Honestly, yeah. I don't really get angry very easily. I kind of just like stay quiet and then like cry if I'm upset. Like I don't really get mad that often. Someone says you don't speak Spanish. I do not. I think it would be cool to learn another language, but I currently just speak English. Someone says that you like pizza with pineapple. Honestly, when I was little, a pineapple and pizza was like my favorite ever. Like I loved it so much, but I haven't had it in like years. Like it's been, I don't even remember the last time I had pineapple on pizza. Now I just get cheese pizza. So yeah, I wouldn't say I hate it. I wouldn't put it on my pizza. Someone says interesting person and full of secrets. Someone says, I made an assumption that you were bad, but now I know you're nice. <laughs> well, that's good. I feel like a lot of people think that I'm mean, but I swear I'm nice. Someone says, stoner? I have smoked weed before, but I think it's been about two years. Of course, I don't judge anyone who does it. It's just not my thing. And yeah. <laughs> Someone says you want a Range Rover and 285k. If you haven't seen my video where I reacted to the weird DMs I get, then go watch it. I'll link it in the description box below. Someone says that you don't actually play video games, but you just act like you do. I've had a few comments about this before. I feel like just because I'm a girl, a lot of people assume that I don't play video games and I'm just trying to like hop on the bandwagon because it's become really popular to be like a gamer girl now. But no, I do play video games. I don't just say I do. Um, I have an older brother, so growing up, I always looked up to him and he loved video games as a kid. So of course I followed in his footsteps and I'd always play his games with him. So that's pretty much the main reason that I got into video games. Even though we live together, we each have our separate PS4, so that way we don't have to split screen on any of the games. We can each have like our own TV. We play video games pretty often. Look, my PS4 controller is actually right next to me. I recently have been really into Rainbow Six. It's a lot of fun and I think I'm getting pretty good at it. Aside from my PS4, I also grew up on Pokemon. So I had my Nintendo DS, I actually still have it. And I had all of the Pokemon games and I don't play my DS very often anymore, but I have my Nintendo Switch and I play Super Smash Bros. and all those fun games. I'm gonna start streaming on Twitch soon, so if you guys want to go follow me on Twitch, it will be linked in the description box below, so definitely go check it out. I'm gonna be trying to stream as often as I can. Like I said, I don't do much. I'm an introvert with no friends, so I'm sure I'll have a lot of time for streaming. So yeah, definitely go check out my Twitch. Someone says, your boobs are fake. I do get quite a few comments of people asking me if my boobs are fake. They're not. I'm only 18. I can't even get silicone. Educate yourself. <laughs> Someone says, you look lonely. Are you? Someone says, I met you at a party. At first I thought that you and your sister were genetically modified clones. Then I realized you were normal human beings and you guys are actually really fucking cool people. Who is this? Who are you? Someone says, who in their right mind makes assumptions about someone they barely know? Honestly, a lot of people. Someone says, just another Insta girl with big tits. Every single guy thinks this, to be honest. I mean, if that's what you want to call me, Sure, I'm an Instagram model, I guess, and I have big boobs, <laughs> so technically those statements aren't wrong. Someone says that you like to show your cleavage. I mean, like, yes, I do post pictures with my boobs out a lot, but at the end of the day, they're a part of my body, and I'm pretty happy with my body. You know, it's the reason I can breathe, walk, do anything, so I don't think I should be shamed for just being me, you know? 
Last night, I actually went to a corner store to go get some chips and this guy walked in completely shirtless. And that's socially acceptable, but the minute, you know, a girl wears a crop top, she gets slut shamed. So I just think it's unfair that boobs are overly sexualized. Well, it is true that I do have my boobs out in a lot of Instagram pictures. They're just a part of my body. If I wear a tank top, there's gonna be cleavage, you know? That's just, that's just my body. <laughs> Someone says, you are actually not 19. You're right, I'm actually 18. I was born on December 7th of 2000. A lot of people don't believe me when I say that I'm 18. Like whenever I bring it up, people are like, oh my God, you're 18? Like, no way, like you're lying. Like I don't understand why anyone would think that I'm lying about that. I will be 19 pretty soon actually, but I'm 18, I'm not lying about it. I don't know why anyone would lie about their age unless they're like trying to get into a bar or something. Someone says, I imagine you are funny. You know, I like to think that I'm funny too. Someone says, you're not very good at Minecraft. Excuse me? You just wait for my Minecraft streams. I'm pretty good. I did get a lot of really interesting assumptions, so I'm just gonna read them out. <laughs> you like me as much as you like You a freak in the sheets, love sex, that you have killed three good men. You love people complimenting your breasts. You love getting You dumb AF. You give the meanest blowjobs. You a hoe. Good in bed? That you would be the perfect wife. For me. LOL. I don't know, but you should be my wife. Fake boobs. Kiss me. Cool woman who if not should watch PewDiePie. That you're fixated on your boobies. If you did Twitch, you would most likely be a Twitch thought. How can I date a girl like you? Big ass tits. Voluptuous boobies. I think that you would look amazing topless. One can hope. You get dick. What do you think about people that make hand jobs on your photo? Boob size? Can you show me your boobs? Alright guys, so that is it for this week's video. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on my post notifications. That way you can be notified every single time I upload a new video. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week.